Okay, so uh, we're at Star City Games Columbus. We're in uh, the Greater Columbus Convention Center, Exhibit Hall B. We have probably a couple thousand people here. And uh, this hall is huge. We're only taking up about half the room. Like, it's crazy just how many people are here. But uh, I put, I'm playing my Affinity deck today. I have the deck list in the description of the video. And I uh, played against a, another local grinder. He's almost a good friend. Uh, his name was... Uh, I'm not 100% sure what his name was. But... Beat him. He's playing Merfolk. Just kind of just sit back and uh, turn dude sideways. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm boarding the Whip Flare for that, but I did anyway because Mem Knight's not that great of a card in the matchup. And, uh... Jeez. Even at the bottom tables here, there's a lot of people. These are like the side event tables, and then they're going to use all this up here for probably just like casual players. I'm counting 650 tables. Oh, and uh, right there is where the feature match is. We got uh, a deck tech being recorded right now. And we got Cedric Phillips. And uh, I'm having a brain fart. But yeah, uh, there's like this much room. And they have their booth set up all the way over there because it's a little bit quieter even though they could probably go all the way back there just to give people a very long, annoying walk to the feature match. Uh, there's also a big sign that says men's bathroom. It's also all the way back there and not over here. And uh, that's what we got. We're in one of the exterior halls near the uh, high street entrance right now. The uh, hall is there behind us. I'm just kind of hanging out here because it's kind of quiet. Uh, last round, I played against uh, Grixis Death Shadow and won 2 0. Or no, 2 1. My bad, he got me in game 2. Feels pretty good. Uh, the round is almost over, so this update's gonna be a little bit short. But uh, basically, he didn't draw very good. Oh well. Boy, I just played against the Spice Brew. Four color Sahili Rai Felidar Guardian Copycat with Lotus Cobras, Birds of Paradise, Renegade Rallyers, the buyback stuff, Eldritch Evolution, main deck Acidic Slime by the way, that was pretty hot. Uh, I was a little bit concerned about that, uh, but I managed to uh, beat him in the game one off of just doing affinity things and turning little tiny robot dudes sideways. And then uh, round two, or I mean game two, uh, he Mulligan his first hand, which he claimed was a six lane hand. That's a lie. They always mulligan for Stony Silence. And uh, he mulliganed exactly for the turn two Stony Silence. He had he played a tur he shocked turn one turn one Temple Garden and uh, I forget what he played. And then uh, turn two he played Horizon Canopy, uh, tapped that, so he's dealt three damage to put himself down to seventeen uh, to cast a Stony Silence. I'm sitting there looking at my field. I've already got one signal pass, two Ornithopters. And then I draw another Ornithopter, and I have another Ornithopter in, or no, not Signal Pest, not Ornithopter. I had triple Signal Pest. I'm like, yes, this is fine. I win. And uh, that's exactly what happened. Uh, deck is performing very hot right now. I'm about to crash and burn next, the next uh, six rounds of the, of the day. But I was at table one. Let's see how well we're doing here. Oh, and uh, still big giant gap to the feature match. Just walking laps. But uh, I'm just doing that. Okay. Round four. Opponent leads turn one. Cycle Street Wraith. Shock Sacred Foundry. What's going on in this world? Playing 
Four color shadow, five color shadow, maybe? Nope. Plays basic swamp next turn. Okay. So, uh, something's going on here. Then he plays a basic planes. I don't like it. This guy's Mardu. Oh, boy. I do Odo. This is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. 4 0. 4 0. Totally fine. This world is fine, and this big empty room is still big and empty with uh, all these people over here. Yep. Everything's fine. Sure. I don't be I don't deserve to be here. What's going on in this world? My previous excitement. Uh, the guy was definitely playing Mardu Death Shadow, basically the Mardu Pyromancer list that's been running around, uh, fitting in a Death Shadow and Street Rates. I don't really know exactly what he's cutting, but he's still playing the Bedlam Revelers and the Lingering Souls, which I think is totally correct to still play those cards, because Bedlam Reveler is amazing at what he does. Uh, also, my coat is really hot, and it's pretty warm in the play area, which is why I'm actually just pacing around over here in the big empty spaces next to the future match area and uh, those guys up there. But, uh, I'm having fun today. I haven't really had a super salty opponent yet, which is fine. Uh, the room is mostly big and empty, so if we want, we can have room just to kind of just walk and stand around. Oh yeah, the announcement speakers are really loud because this room is actually built for and more intended for uh, bigger gatherings, as you've probably been able to figure out. And uh, when they come up on the speakers there, uh, I don't think you guys can actually hear me talk. So, I'm having fun. The place is great. I haven't really tried the food yet because I've only got eleven dollars, something like that. Not not a whole lot of money, just enough money just to buy me food for the day, and uh, hopefully I uh, finish the day off pretty strong. If I day two, that'd be exciting. That'd be my first day two in an event like this ever, and uh, honestly. This is my best start ever. 4-0. I've only dropped two games. And, uh... This is why I like the Open Series. Because... It's just fun. I've tried the GPs. But... When I can spend $50... Go somewhere... And have a hotel room for the same pro And buy... Like... A single night of a cheap hotel and still spend less money than uh, going to a GP spending and pay, just paying the entry that's fine Star City you guys keep it up I wish that your uh, entry stayed about where they're at now I really don't want them to go up but right now just fantastic end of round five or after round five. We still got ten minutes left in this round or so. So ten minutes on top of the in-between round times, which is another ten minutes. So really about twenty minutes. Uh, round five. Look at the uh, pairings website. And I see Caleb Schur. And I'm like, oh. Well, I know Caleb Schur is a fun guy to play with, at least. And, uh. He's playing the Storm deck, which is a real pretty... It feels like a really bad matchup for me. Basically, I just have to force him to win. And, uh, that's basically what it did. I actually cut the rule of law out of my sideboard, uh, for a pithing needle. But, yeah, I cut, I, I cut the rule of law out of my sideboard for a pithing needle today. I'm not necessarily regretting it, but at the same time, I don't really have a matchup for the pithing needle. I just put it in there because I like the card. And, uh... I kind of missed having the one of rule law, but at the same time, it was down to a one of. I don't know if I keep that in my build of Infinity, which is running four Galvanic Blasts in the main and not and no copies of a uh, 
thought cast. So it's just, what do I do? I don't think I'm supposed to win that at all. Just seriously don't. Go run, run, run. That's basically uh, how the match went. I present Lethal Board State and he kills me. And, uh, my first loss of the day. I really shouldn't be sound so salty about it. I'm 4-1 at, at a uh, Star City Open. So I'm going to keep playing. The way the field is looking, I'm probably very much in contention for day two. We've only got four rounds left on the day. We're only doing uh, nine rounds on day one. Uh, looking, it's looking like uh, X and two will make day two, so we're seven and two minimum. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I just played against some jank. Round six, playing against a blue white control opponent, playing monastery mentors as the basically only threat in the deck. He did not play colonnades. Running a mono basic land mana base and uh, a main board logic dot. What is this world? I don't even understand. I give up. He played that turn two. I immediately called Judge like anyone would at that point. Judge confirms there is a main board Sony Silence. And I'm sitting here looking at my uh, board state that. And the only thing I could do was attack with a 1 1 Blank Moth Nexus and an Ornithopter. Not a very exciting game. Uh, game 2 kind of turned out the same exact way. Ouch. I give up. Not dropping. I just played the game just to end the game. I probably should have just conceded. But. Who knows? I could have just ripped Galvanic, Galvanic Blast off the top just to kill him. But, oh well. Yeah, eight minutes left in the round. I'm uh, going to uh, get some food and uh, drink some coffee. Kind of re-energize myself with these last two rounds. And see how it works out. Okay. So, seven rounds in. Seven rounds done. I am... Five and two. I have defeated the uh, de the demon of the format known as Naya Kiki Cord, a uh, deck that's about two years out of date, basically. And uh, played pretty hot. Just uh, walked in, beat him up. I uh, called his uh, choice of basic force uh, terrible, and uh, walked away. Because well, he was playing. He was uh, playing. It actually was a terrible. We both knew that, knew that I was joking about it. I hope at least. But uh, he was playing the uh, Christopher Rush basic force that with the path art. But it was the foil printing, which I believe were promos that they that Wizards made some several years ago. And. Ooh. <coughs> Yeah, got it. He just ate some food. Okay. But, uh, it was pretty hot looking. He, his, uh, list was entirely foil. But, of course, the, uh, six card special in game one and the five card special in game two, uh, definitely, uh, beats Naya Cord every time. They actually have a pretty bad Infinity matchup. So, uh, of course. Or at least it seems like they have a pretty bad Infinity matchup. And of course, uh, Whip Flare is a pretty good card against them. Yeah, uh, still a bunch of people here. It's, uh, we've got some uh, empty tables up along there. So there's not nearly as many people here as what there were earlier tonight. But that's fine. We'll uh, X, I'm X at 2 right now, which should be enough to make day 2. I just need to get 2 more wins. Uh, there's still the potential for uh, X, X and 3 to make day 2. Okay. Round eight's over. <sighs> X and three. 
I lost to uh, the mirror match. It's probably the fourth or fifth time I've ever played the mirror. And uh, I just need to play it more. Uh, round eight, I'm at uh, five and three. So uh, just need to secure this next win for round nine. And uh, I have a theoretical shot at being at the bottom of being of being in day day two. But uh, I just got done playing playing the Affinity Mirror. Uh, my game one hand, while it was a good hand, was not good enough to answer what my opponent was doing. And uh, in game two, the game was really quick because uh, I presented turn one Steel Overseer with uh, two Ornithopters in play. And uh, he presented uh, Memnite, Ornithopter, Dark Steel Citadel, Mox Opal, Mox Opal, Aether Grid. Cancer. I lost horribly. And uh, after a while, you just gotta realize that you're not going to draw the Pith and Needle you boarded in to name the Aether Grid, and you just concede, man. It's a one of card that you're looking to draw, and if you don't draw in like the first five turns, you just lose. That's how it works out. Oh well. Good round nine. Hope I win. Okay. That is the end of my Swiss. Round nine. Lost a burn. Oh well. I guess I'll survive it. Whatever. The way I see it, I had a very hot start. The end of my day was a little shaky, but then again, I think that's partially due to just the mental taxation of my own deck. Uh, Affinity is not exactly one of the easiest decks to play in modern. So, uh, I'll have to work on that. As you can see, the uh, room is a lot emptier than what it was. But uh, that's just because we're basically at the end of events for today. Uh, they're going to wrap up what they're currently running. There's 31 minutes left in the round. It is currently 7.40 p.m. I'm uh, going to get with my brother, who's going to be my ride home, and play some uh, Dungeons and Dragons on Sunday with the group, because I can do that now, because I did it day two. I don't think I make day two an extra four anyway. Oh well. I had fun. I'll probably be doing another one of these videos here in February for the Indianapolis Open. And, uh, as always, these Star City events are just awesome. I'll see you next time.